Welcome back to another episode of Don's Lawns. Like I said in my first video, which if you haven't seen, you'll find in the link above or in the description down below. In that video, I mentioned that I was not going to use any chemicals, so I'm going to do my best to stick to that. Today, we're gonna to look at another way to mechanically get rid of St. Augustine stolons. Okay, so we've been mowing the St. Augustine as low as my mower will go. It's been scalping the leaf blade right off, making it just stolons basically in the lawn. The stolons are still holding on after a month of doing that. So I decided to go to Lowe's and pick up a dethatching blade. These have had mixed reviews in the lawn care community. Yeah, they do this, they do that, whatever. I'm gonna try it out and see if I can rip those stolons out of the ground and make room for the Bermuda. So I decided I'm going to mow this section here with the blade all the way up in more of a power rake fashion to try to remove any of these dead leaf blades from the uh, St. Augustine that's coming back there. And then I'll show you guys how it works all the way down scalping this uh, Bermuda lawn section that I'm working on. So I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised with the results of using the power rake dethatching rake uh, lawnmower blade by Arnold on my tall St. Augustine. It did pretty good. It definitely loosened up a bunch of these dead leaf blades and with the uh, blade on there mulching it uh, bagged quite a bit of dead material so so far so good. Now. Let's get it over on the uh, scalp section over here and see how it does tearing up those stolons. So we're gonna set this and figure out about what height we need to put the blade at in order to really tear up those stolons. Spark plugs unplugged. They're barely, they're above, way above. So we need to slam it down. So now my mower is at the lowest setting and those guys are definitely hitting stolons. So let's give it a shot. Uh, Arnold power rake dethatching lawnmower blade I'd say did what it's supposed to do it definitely tore up a lot of the stolons 
there's still some low areas where my ground was uneven, so there's still some St. Augustine in some of those sections. It's kind of hard to tell, but it definitely scalped and tore up a lot of stolons and a lot of debris got it up out of the lawn. So I'm looking forward to some more heat and some more sunlight to really dry this St. Augustine out. If you can tell, there's some areas where the ground has started to crack because um, I haven't been watering it because I really am just trying to get this St. Augustine to just kind of give up. And then I can come through and throw some Bermuda seed, do some lawn leveling, do all kinds of fun stuff to this section. So I got big plans in store. Make sure you guys subscribe. Stay tuned for what's coming in the next couple weeks to months to the rest of the year. I've got a lot in store for you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Tap subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Don's Lawns one And I'll see you guys in the next video. Best of luck in the lawn.